while you were sleeping and while everybody was concerned with Brexit, HARP, along with probably other weather programs and machines thereof, has basically started what is now a two-state federal emergency involving a natural disaster. Virginia and West Virginia have declared federal emergencies. Illinois and rumored one other state are yet to decide whether or not to declare emergency. Now this is a good source folks. This actually came from the Weather Channel. West Virginia flooding, severe weather outbreak, news impact, you get the idea. At least 24 people have died in federal disaster. It's been declared in West Virginia after heavy rains flooded several towns, prompting search and rescue. Both Virginia and West Virginia have declared states of emergency due to the devastating events uh, that has been described as complete chaos. Roads destroyed, bridges out, homes burned down, washed out, uh, off foundations, said Greenbeer uh, County Sheriff Jan Cahill. Multiple sectors of highway just absolutely missing. Pavement just peeled off like a banana. Things they've never even seen, folks. West Virginia, climatologist Kevin Law, USA Today, said this is the third deadliest flooding event on record for the state. The November 1985 flood killed 38, ranked second worst. 1972 Buffalo Creek flood killed 125. So this is not the worst for the state yet. Yes, they will talk about Illinois first, folks, I promise. Give me one second to do this. West Virginia. Flooding claims at least 24 lives. Three deaths took place Friday evening and a Saturday morning. At, uh, according to Kennaw County Sheriff's Office, the body of a man was found in a home in Clinton area and two women were discovered in a home in Riverview Road along with Elk River near Sandy Creek or Little Sandy Creek. They presume three drowned. Eight-year-old Emmanuel William died Thursday in West Virginia Hospital after he slipped into the creek and was swept away by the raging waters. An unknown number of people remain unaccounted for in Green Barrier County, which is about 32,000 remained without power throughout West Virginia Saturday. Saturday news Release from Tublin office announced federal disaster declaration was approved for assistance in Canaha, Breer, and Nicholas counties. The declaration provides people in those counties with individual assistance for emergency medical support, housing, number of other immediate needs. FEMA's already started assessing damage according to the Associated Press. The state may still submit additional applications to the agency. With the help of 200 National Guardsmen, local crews in eight counties continue to perform swift water rescues and search and rescue efforts and health and welfare checks, AP also reported. Governor said he planned to fly around the hardest hit areas, but he was unable to do it because all the state aircraft are being used for rescues. So, you get the idea here, folks. It is shit crazy. Virginia. Officials say three emergency workers were injured during water rescue in Allegheny County. Uh, Bodort County Battalion Chief Andrew Moore said telephone Friday that one worker uh, fell inside water or fell into the water during a rescue. And on Thursday night, he said... The worker is in critical condition, but stable. Uh, it says two other workers hurt while rescuing their colleagues re received minor injuries, but were released from the hospital. Governor Terry McLaughlin, or uh, Olive, 
tweeted Thursday night that a state of emergency has been declared, allowing state agencies to bypass some time-consumed procedures to quickly help local governments, residents of downtown Covington, as well as low-flying areas of the city were evacuated Thursday night to establish shelters. WDBJ reported evacuations were ordered as the Jackson River uh, neared record levels. Roads were closed. Several houses fires were sparked by lighting or lightning as storms pushed through Commonwealth. Uh, according to Ronsnick Times, a handful of roads were closed by flooding in Covington and Eleni County, and a few other roads were shut down in Bowton County, or Botort County, the State Dep uh, Department of Transportation said. House fires were blamed on lightning in Reed Mountain, Good, and Thaxton. The report added no injuries were reported in those incidents. Here's the Illinois. As many as 18 reported tornadoes coming Wednesday night. NWS survey crews conducted damages along three separate supercell paths Thursday morning. EF2 tornado was spotted in Marseille, Seneca Wednesday night. According to NWS, two separate EF1 tornadoes were reported the same night in Westbrook, I'm sorry, West Brooklyn and Cisna Park. Shortly before 10.30 p.m. CDT, a large tornado moved in the park or in uh, Pontiac, Illinois. It's a tornado which the NWS has preliminary rated in EF2 was an 11-mile damage path or left in an 11-mile damage path. You get the idea on a tornado. The driver of a small semi at a gas station suffered a dislocated shoulder after the winds blew his truck over on the side of the station. Storm spotters reported seeing power flashes before much of the town's 12,000 lost power. And chasers who followed the storm in Pontiac saw destroyed mobile homes at a trailer park, according to fire chief in Pontiac. Two children inside a mobile home suffered minor injuries. North of Ottawa, EF0 tornado was confirmed by NWS. The twister had maximum winds of 90 miles an hour, measured 100 yards wide, and stayed on the ground for 4.5 miles. In towns of Seneca, fire crews were responding to reports of people trapped in homes, but nobody was believed to be injured in the dwelling. And so far, no reports have come out on injured or on uh, casualties, but we can expect probably better part of five, I would imagine, in any major tornado that touches down. Um, I've been in Illinois during bad storms. They're nothing to mess with, folks. I've been through tornadoes, sandstorms, uh, mild fire, lots of other things. Uh, survived it all to speak about it. Uh, whether it's in Illinois, Arizona, Michigan. Can't say the tornado's been bad. Can't say the fire was bad. But the the tornado was bad, folks. But, you know, it, it really didn't hurt the home or the residence I was in. It kind of just toppled the area. Trees were, you know, ripped out and things of that nature. And that whole night I spent... Uh, uh, well, the whole night I spent was like right next to the picture window in the living room, sleeping on the pull-out couch. So it was quite an interesting night. And then come morning, we were helping residents and other people in the area help, you know, <laughs> clear the roads. So we were using chainsaws and various things to do that. It was bad, but this is what it is, folks. Two states declare federal emergency. A third state is deciding. Um, although there wasn't much on the uh, Illinois story, the water did affect them to some degree, uh, but the tornadoes were the biggest part in Illinois. 
and I don't know how many people have died and or been injured in Illinois, but I did read something else outside the NWS that did say that Illinois was deciding whether or not to declare a state of emergency, uh, mostly so that they can help those that are injured and get things done faster that need to be done. But this is big, folks. Pass it on. Thank you.